If you are a content creator or a video editor, you have probably noticed that editing is a very time consuming task. But I have some good news for you. You can start editing your videos significantly faster with this AI tool. You just need to upload your footage with the simple drag and drop feature and this tool cuts all of the bad takes and silences automatically for you with other editing features. I am using this tool for my videos as well which saves me hours of work every single time. So if you don't want to spend hours on editing anymore, then in this video we are going to talk about some important features of this tool, what it does and how to use it. But before we start, you can find the sign up link in description and they will also give you a free trial option. So this tool is called Glink AI. Glink AI is an advanced video editing tool powered by artificial intelligence. Its main goal is to simplify the editing process by automating tedious tasks that would normally take hours to complete manually. This AI-powered video editing tool uses advanced algorithms to analyze your footage and automatically make necessary edits, including cutting out any mistakes while speaking, removing silences and the background noise during your speech, adding jump cuts and even smart captions if you prefer, ensuring that the edited version of your footage is smooth and professional. To start using Kling AI, you can sign up for free with your email account. And after your sign up process is complete, then you need to download Kling AI to your computer. And after the installation is completed, you should see this dashboard. The user interface is designed with simplicity in mind. When you first start Kling AI after the installation is completed, you will land to this clean dashboard. On the top right side, you'll find your account details. This section will generate ideas for your YouTube videos. If you connect your YouTube channel to Gling AI, here it will give you different video ideas. This is the field where you need to drag your footage. And here below, you'll find your previous videos. So let's try it with an example footage of one of my older videos. You just need to drag here one of your raw footage and it will take you to this screen. Here you can name your project if you prefer. On the right side here, it asks you the video spoken language and you have these options to choose. Here you can add extra footage if you need and here you can delete them. You can also add a video script by clicking to this button here. If you prefer, you can paste your script here if you have to get more accurate results. But I am not using it because I believe it's already good enough. Then you click on continue, then it will start processing your footage. Okay, so let's click on continue. The next screen is this section, enhance your video. Here it will ask you which operations you would like it to do. These are chosen by default to cut the silences, to remove the silences and the bad takes of your videos. If you say something wrong or redundant, then it will take them also out. Otherwise, it will only take the silent moments. If you wish, you can also use the jump cut zoom and remove the background noise. I am leaving them empty for now, but you can also do it later if you prefer. So I'm not going to choose them right now. Once you click on enhance and edit, then Glink AI will start processing your video. Okay, now the process has started and once it is finished, then we will continue. Okay, now the process has completed and it takes us to this screen. On the right side, we can see the video itself and on the left side, we can find the video script. The gray fields here are the automatically cut out parts by Glink AI and here down below, we see how long the actual footage was. So it was over eight minutes, how many cuts it has made, over a hundred cuts, and how much it is reduced. So at the beginning, it was more than eight minutes. And after the processing is completed, now it's only around one minute. Normally, I would do all of these cuts by myself, but as you can see, Glink AI does everything for us within a couple of minutes. If you see something wrong in your script, you can also edit it manually by selecting the words you want to cut. Just select these words, click on the scissor signs or just click on your backspace from your keyboard and it will also cut out the part you selected. But if you want to uncut a part, then select it one more time and click on backspace again. Then as you see, the cut is now gone. One of the other key features of Glink AI is the ability to automatically split your footage into smaller clips like here. This feature ensures that your video flows smoothly without any awkward pauses or transitions. Before we see it in action, let's toggle this button here to on 
so it will skip the gray fields while playing. Okay, so now I'm starting it. So as you can see, it has skipped the gray fields here, so you can see the final version of your video. If you are not happy, then you can also uncut it from here or directly from the text. If you prefer, you can also make additional splits. For example, let's take this section here. As we can see, now it is one single section. And if you wish, you can just choose the part you want to split. Let's click here, for example. And then when you click here, now we see that Glingai splits this part into two subsections. Here you can zoom in and zoom out to your footage. And one of the other best features is pacing control. You can control it from here. If you click on this button, you can adjust the pace of your video. Maybe if you find it too fast, or maybe the pauses are too short between the clips, then you can adjust the pace of your video here. If you drag it to the left side, we can see that it removes less pauses because it gives more time between the clips. But if you increase it to the right section, then it will remove more pauses and it will speed up your talking process without letting any pauses. If you click on this button to the advanced button, then you can also add or remove additional empty silences to your each of your clips. If you leave it like this, for example, then it will add 0.2 seconds to the beginning and 0.2 seconds at the end of each of your clips after you click on apply. The next feature is the Enhance button here. If you click on the Enhance button, it gives you the option to add smart captions if you toggle it on. As you can see, now when I toggle it, we get here additional captions. You can also add jump cuts between your clips and you can also adjust the zooming from here, how much you want to zoom by centering to the face. If you have a talking head style video, you can also let it center to the face and everything will be done automatically. And this option here is removing the background noise from your audio. This one is the AI assistant. If you select this one, then it will generate you suggested titles that you can directly use in your video. And you can also generate chapters if you prefer. And after we are finished with editing, then you can click on the export button to start exporting. You can export your footage with different export settings. There is the video export setting as MP4 format. In addition to video export, you can also export your file as an audio file separately from the video in MP3 format. This is particularly useful for podcasts or any other audio only content. But if you prefer to do further editing in a separate video editor, Glink AI also allows you to do that. You can export files directly to Adobe Premiere Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. I am not using any of them, so I won't be able to show it, but with just a single click, you can transfer your edited footage to one of your preferred video editors here if you are using one of them. You can sign up Glingi from the link below in description, and you will also have a free trial. If you think this will be a useful tool for you, you can upgrade it later to one of these plans here, and you can see all of these all of the key features that Glink AI gives with different plans. So AI is getting more and more beneficial in content creation and Glink AI is just one of these tools. In my upcoming videos, we will be talking about the similar AI tools that will help you to improve your content creation process. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, please hit the like button. Thank you guys for watching.